Uh, it's Sunday, isn't it? Oh, damn it. Hey, everybody. Spot of Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sundays have been, um, well, it's just not Peter on the Bush here. Sundays have traditionally been the uh, least favorite day to do this show because it seems like Spotify likes to put all the incredibly mediocre songs on a Sunday, on the middle of the playlist. I'm not sure why. Probably a reason for that. Or maybe it's just my opinion thinks that. I don't know. But we're going to try again today. Now, there's only 98 songs on the, at the time of this recording anyway, because sometimes they sneak a few in later. But only 98 songs on the New Music Friday playlist, so we're only going to do 18 today. All the other days have 20. Normally I do the other days. In the beginning of the week I do those, the short days, but I'm like, you know what? No, we're going to make the Sunday show shorter because it's usually very not the greatest. Anyway, let's start things with Aurora and Exist for Love. Prove me wrong, Sunday. I wanted to like this. I really did. Uh, it's just kind of... Mm, not sure why, just, I don't know. You ever have that where you really want to like a song, but you just quite can't get yourself to actually like the song? Maybe that's just me. Up next, Cold Train. Cold Three Train, and Kiana Lede, and Clutch. What amuses me most about this song is the album cover has really pretty writing and flowers for a song called Clutch. And they put Clutch in the middle. But me listening to it, I know there's a hard rock metal band called Clutch. And just thinking this would be an actual album cover by the band Clutch just makes me laugh rather ridiculously. So, yeah, this is okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh. But not ah. It's just oh. Up next, Daniel Caesar and a Spotify single, a song called Cyanide. This, is, this isn't going to be a cover of the Metallica song, is it? At least if it would have been a cover of Metallica's Cyanide, it would have been interesting. This this is not interesting. Not interesting at all. <sighs> Jacob Collider with uh, Mahalia Tidal Sign. All I need. The beat on this song borrowed from some 80s song. I know it is. Or maybe 70s even. It's good. I like it. It's not super fast. It's got a nice tempo. Kind of has that more fun R&B kind of thing going on. I like it. All right. Up next, Teenage Priest and Innocent. Oh, yeah. This is a heavy, leaning heavy alt rock. Maybe almost like a 1975 vibe. Not like the 1970 song we listened to a day or two ago. Hmm. It's all right. I like it, actually. I'd be curious to hear the rest of their album, actually, which is, you know, some of the highest praise I can give, I guess, a song. Right now, it's ALX and Love on Top. I'm pretty sure you were going for something somewhat romantic, but when you say, Spa Day with my bitch, kind of kind of kills the mood, dude. Still give you an O, because it's not horrible. Up next, Flip De Niro with the Jump Off. Or just Jump Off, I guess. This is one of those rap songs that sounds like one of those other rap songs because it's got that doom 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 da ba da ba doo da ba sa ba da ba da ba da ba the sound sound cloudy sound I guess I don't know not not my favorite but yeah not horrible I guess I'm next smoker pup with little pimp and off my chest well he has a lot to get off his chest I guess let me get this off my chest meh. Up next, Reason with Schoolboy Q and Pop Shit. So, yeah. It's... There's an interesting song here, but I wish I wish they'd recorded that, but... I don't know, this one's... It's meh, it's, you know, some people like it. I'm very indifferent. Up next, Little Keed and Wavy. Sometimes I think the record industry is just going to basically make very similar rap songs and just keep throwing them at the wall, and it's basically a contest about whose can stick longer. I don't know. Up next, Alma with L.A. Money. 
The album cover tells me this might be like a concept album or something. It's also got a black and white picture of a lady's eye with like what looks like a green crayon being shoved into it. Like not like stabbed directly into it, but just kind of like, like right here. It's weird. I kind of like the song. It gets an O. Up next, Lolo Zuai and Alone With You. That's kind of a nice little slower pop R&B type song. Oh. You know, some words in there that will need the radio at a treatment, that's for sure. Up next, Moses, Sunny, Sunny. We'll just call him Moses. And bless me. Did you sneeze? All right, I'm going to try a little experiment here. Last week, I think it was last week, maybe it was two weeks ago, there was a really long song that I put in the UG file, and within like a day or two, I went on Pitchfork, and they had given that album like best new music in like a nine point something. So I'm going to put this in the UG, and we'll see if Moses Summy makes it into Pitchfork's best new music. I don't know. Can lightning strike twice? We'll find out. Up next, TK, and also it's, you know, I'm putting it there because it's not really doing much for me. Up next, TK Maizda. Chuck. Okay, TK Maizda. I'm learning that name because I like this song. This is an ah. It's an eye opener. I like it. I like it a lot. Up next, Chef G and Sleepy Hollow with Little Big Bro Shit. You guys are lucky I don't have my videos monetized because this would be killing me this week, you guys. Is it bad when I hear a song and I'm like, isn't this a thing on TikTok? Or maybe I just know it's going to be a thing on TikTok, or it sounds a lot like something that's a thing on TikTok. Anyway, that was Chef G. Up next, Mealy and Smoovel and BDE. Before Don Edwards? Doc Edwards. Before Doc Edwards. It's a song about Cleveland's baseball team before Doc Edwards was the manager. It's probably not. All right, I think we found our first Cardi B-type rapper out the gate. And, you know, since Cardi B hasn't dropped anything new lately, you know, I'm going to put this in the O file because I miss Cardi B. We should drop some new stuff. But definitely getting a definite Cardi B vibe from this. So, Cardi B, the imitators are coming. You better get back on it. Sorry, just some of the lyrics just hit me, and I'm like, and up next, Khaled with uh, Gashi and uh, Delay. Del Del uh, something. It's a little different, but not in a way that makes me want to, you know, click on the artist to learn more. So we'll move on to Lauren Gray. She's got some cake. Did she only come for the cake? She going to bake you a cake and then she going to eat the whole damn thing. You've been told. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm up Sunday. You know what? That Sunday wasn't so bad. I, yeah. I mean, there were some not great songs, but there were some really good songs. So, yeah. As far as Sundays go, that wasn't too bad. So, let's see if we can do that again next week. In the meantime, we'll come back for a Monday, um, on Monday. <laughs>